Hey everyone, welcome to Gabe's Cave. I'm Darren. And before we get started today, let's thank our sponsors. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com. If you're looking for a new career, make sure you check them out. They're building people, changing lives. And our new sponsor, that's Comic Shield. Um, if you're looking for a good way to transport your comics, be it graded or raw, check out Comic Shield. That's comic, uh, www.comic-shield.com. They'll be down in the description as well. Great products. And now on today's topic, that is a unboxing. We're doing a really cool unboxing, um, not comics, and we've been doing that a lot lately. We're doing a cool unboxing that I haven't been able to do on the channel yet because we're not really supposed to do like hot toys unboxings if we buy them ourselves. However, we can do it if someone else bought it. And my best friend that I've had, I've, I've been friends with for what twenty two years now, something like that, finally bought something. And it's been in the shop for a little while, but um, I just told him straight. I was like, we're just, we're just going to unbox it. I have to. I've got to get it open and on the channel. And um, it is a really cool product. It is the Dark Knight. Do you remember which figure it was? Which movie it was from? He's he's behind. He's on the couch over here behind because he doesn't want to be on the camera. But you remember which one it is? The Okay, the Dark Knight and the Bat Pod. I don't know the differences of them, but he's really cool. He's got the Bat Pod, the little motorcycle thing. And uh, we're going to bust him out, open him up, and set him up here, how I would display with all the rest of the hot toys that I collect myself. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. We'll go ahead and jump right into it. These have been opened. Um, we did open them whenever they came in to make sure that they were not torn up. But we have not, like, opened them all up. We just wanted to make sure that nothing was broken inside there, so... So before we open them up, I'm just going to kind of sit them here and I'll open the bat pot up too. Oh, so this, uh, this Batman is just the Dark Knight Trilogy Batman. So some of them, they have different ones that are like um, movie specific, but this one's just the Dark Knight Trilogy. And we do have this really cool bat pot here. Um, hopefully you can see those too. And we'll get him set up here. Uh, what do you want to open first? Do you want to do the, the Batman or the bat pod? Bat pod first, okay. Slide this over. Were you here when we opened this up the first time? Yeah, okay. So we'll kind of open this up here. You can still be able to see it up above here. If Alejandro's not sleeping back there. Super cool. I'm just gonna grab my the tires here. Slide it out of the way. Careful with it. Kind of a little assembly guide and an art piece. You could frame it if you wanted to or leave it in the box. Sit this over to the side for now. And we'll kind of uh, take the plastic off and assemble it a little bit here. And then we'll bust him out and have him pop a squat on it. I do like how they pack these things. Um, they're generally really good. If you get some of the older ones that are, you know, uh, before they merged, some of those are a little sketchy being boxed. Not the best, but these newer ones they're making are really good quality. Uh, very well packaged. And the only thing I have to complain about is this, the tape sometimes. Sometimes it's great. It comes right off. You don't have to get the scissors out or the knife out or whatever. But sometimes, like this one was great. Sometimes you'll bust out the... You'll have to sit there and try to fight it. Worry about scuffing or cutting or whatever. Look at that, it came right off. Oh, so cool, this one actually has some uh, some features that, some electronics on, I don't know if it lights up or what, but there's a big on switch on the back here. I didn't see any batteries, but there may be some in it already. Tires are rubber, good quality. Love when they make these things, like uh, the bikes and stuff. 
um, our accessories, vehicles, whatnot, because they're always such good quality because there's not a figure to deal with and it's always like a lot more attention to detail, colors and paints and I so said these, these tires are all like painted in rubber. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually, uh, when you, it opens up and whatnot. I don't know, I'm sure there's some more movement there. Doesn't really look symmetrical, but. Oh, okay, I see, yep. Cool. Let's. These things don't only take me forever to set up. We have to do a little fast forwarding here. Some movie magic, because uh, I like to get them pretty accurate, or what's a, you know just like a cool stance or whatever. There's a bat pod. Pretty simple piece here. Hopefully you can see that chilling there like that. And we'll move right on to the dark knight. I think so. All right, cool boxing. Uh, I love the boxing on these things. The just silky smooth texture. And they're all different. They all kind of have their own way of opening. This one happens to open like that. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's actually really cool. So have the unboxing process here as well so wherever you are here on the top camera uh looks to be some kind of keychain there is a um i don't know what this is but it's like a keychain collectible thing that comes with it uh the, the batarang i'm not really sure but it's really neat it's like felt um, and then there's a key ring here i'm sure that's what that is some kind of like key tag i wouldn't put that on my keys by any means but you could put it somewhere in your house. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Oh, cool. Just saying, if anybody out there is considering buying any hot, to any hot toys stuff, and you're like, I don't know, don't sleep on hot toys, man. When they're gone, they're gone, and um, you you don't want to sleep on them. They're they're really really good quality um, I would say is just as good a quality as these any of these statues back here especially new hot toys they're just hard to beat when it comes to uh, just the the detail and everything and honestly this is probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen come out um, just super super good quality attention to detail here the boxing is fantastic I have not oh he's one of the ones you can move his eyeballs I have not seen a box um, put together this well in a while most of them are just kind of plastic. Oh, well, lift that up. There's some attachments and stuff. Most of the boxes are like coming like plastic with some nice wrapping, but nothing like. You can change his face. You know the. The Batman face. And again, such good packaging. I have not seen this from Hot Toys yet. This is the first uh, Hot Toys I've opened with packaging. I'm hoping they're going that way. That's excellent. But by no means is their old packaging bad at all. It's great. And as always with the Hot Toys stuff, this out of the way, you have a really awesome base. And this one is even cooler. My gosh, this is a super good base. Um, some of them are like limited and they have better bases. This one looks like it lights up. It's got some like granite steps um, with the bat signal there. You have a really cool stand here. It goes on the back side. Here, we'll go ahead and pop that in there. Great. We have our tool to adjust our eyeballs. And we have some batteries, probably for the stand, some extra joints. And we have the cape. It's not Batman without a cape now, is it? I'm gonna go for a bike pose, right? Because we got the bike. I mean, otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose, right? I will say though, this is a super cool base. I've only seen one other one like that, and it's actually an older uh, Terminator, 
I believe. It's my mom's head. It's, it belongs to her, and it's really cool. All right, well, this was um, not an easy one to put together. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, normally, I, what I do is I'll bust out my phone and go to the movie or whatever and find a really cool pose. I'm like, that looks really cool. But some of these guys, um, as cool as they are, the detail doesn't allow them to articulate as much, um, especially if they got like leather on, like Batman does leather and plastic and armor or whatever. Sometimes they just don't like to articulate as much. And I would love to have him like holding his gun up with his foot up on the bike, you know, aiming or whatever. And I'm sure if I played with it enough, I could get him to do it, but I'm really not looking to break him um, because they are expensive and they are cool, and this one does not belong to me. So this is the pose I'm with. I'm going with right now. Uh, we'll decide how we want to go about from uh, in the future, but I think it's a really cool pose, even with the bike there just hanging out with the EMP-style gun, which actually attaches over here on the side, but he comes with the... Um, it's like the goo gun he, like... Like cocks it like a shotgun and then shoots the windows and it like blows up everywhere. And when he goes to Japan or wherever he is, I don't remember uh, in the movie, but he goes there. But that gun is actually over here on the side where he builds it. And I've kind of put the MP gun in his hand like he's holding on the bike in the first place. Um, he does have really cool here. He does have, I don't know if you can see it, but behind him on his back, he does have the his uh, grappling hook and whatever else that does. Um, it's behind the cape there, and it does latch into the back of his utility belt. His head does just kind of magnetize, pop off. And this is probably the toughest thing I've ever done with the Hot Toys is get the batteries, get the thing off, and then get the batteries on the inside of there. Uh, but the payout is really worth it. I, I'm, sometimes these things don't glow that well, but these really glow, like a lot. But I think that turned out really well with the, the lighting there. I think the eyeballs grow, glow really well. But these turn out to be really, really well. And like I said, that's another head it comes with. Maybe you can show in a better detail here. I'm not sure. Um, and it comes with different faces. You can actually pop off the... Uh, from the back side of the head here, once you pop it off, the magnetized part. The mouthpiece does come off, so you can have different faces uh, for your mask that you like. Especially if you want to just pop these two off. And it does come with just... The Bruce Wayne head and what what basically how you do that because it has this whole neck piece here you just pull this whole neck piece out of the the torso and this will pop down in there and I believe it's got this collar piece here so he'll um, you can have it to where like he just pulled his his mask off or you can have it to like he didn't have it on in the first you know just just has the suit on without the collar piece there and a really really good sculpt and face I think they did a wonderful job uh, with Christian Bale's face here super awesome figure. Um, tons of detail, tons of detail here. And again, this was two separate pieces to get this full set up here, but I think it's well worth it if you are planning on getting one and displaying it or whatever. I like it. I like it a lot. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for a Hot Toys figure and uh, would definitely recommend. Now on to the rest of the show. Uh, before we get to the giveaways and the new artist spotlight, we do have a few announcements. Uh, October 15th, Ryan Hurst is going to be at Gabe's Cave. Um, if you're in the area, or if you want to meet Ryan Hurst, make sure you swing by. You still have time. It's not far away, but it's long enough that you can make some plans if you are 
uh, you know, somewhat local. Or if you want to fly, come out and hang out with us, meet us, whatever. Ryan Hurst will be here. Um, we're going to have a Joker run slash bike show, if anybody knows what that is. If you don't know what that is, uh, basically it's just like a bike rally thing and then a bike show and um, some other stuff where we have food and entertainment and other stuff. And it'll be a lot of fun. And like I said, it'll be a fun day. Uh, to come out, get some uh, pictures and autographs, and hang out with us and Ryan. We will also be at Cowtown Comic Con on October 22nd and 23rd. That's at the Will Rogers Memorial Center in Fort Worth, Texas. We'll be there with Tony Fleece and Tony Rodriguez with Stray Dogs, uh, Aaron Bartling, Seth Groves, and Muhammad Jelani, and maybe some other artists as well. We're not there yet, um, but those will be uh, hanging out with us. It'll be a fun show, and uh, we look forward to meeting everybody and hanging out with everybody while we're there. Um, other than that, we'll go right on into this week's giveaway, and that is Aaron Larich. And we'll go ahead and run some winners. Congratulations to the winners and the loot box. We love you. We never forget you. Um, if you want to know how to win these, all you have to do is click the first link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Fill that link out. Um, and all it is is just us being able to mail it to you for free. And we need to know how to get it to you so we don't have to try to contact you through YouTube, which doesn't work, by the way. So now on to this week's Artist Spotlight, and that is Travis Kennison. We hope you enjoy the interview and Travis's cards. Hey everyone, we're here today with Travis Kennison. He's a longtime viewer of the show and an artist with us for Series 3 and I believe Series 4, right? Yep. Yes, sure. all right. How are you doing today, Travis? Doing well, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. How, um, how is the weather in Ohio? 92 degrees. Uh, tomorrow I think is a high of 67, so typical Ohio. 92 today and a high of 67 tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah. Good Lord. It's just a smooth sailing like this. Our temperature is going nothing but up. This weekend, it's supposed to be like 100. I'm not looking forward to it. We'll get our 60-degree weather sometime late November, maybe in December. It might get here before Christmas, maybe. We don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll just jump right into some questions here today. Uh, Travis, who would win in a street fight, a taco or a grilled cheese? I have to go with a taco. I've only had one person say grilled cheese. Really? Yeah. What's your reasoning for a taco? I don't know. I went down this rabbit hole of the taco could like release some of the ingredients from it and use it as a weapon. A grilled cheese could just like smother the person and cheese. What if the grilled cheese has jalapenos? Uh, that's a good a question. A grilled cheese is, I mean, is you can make them pretty cool. I mean, I'm just saying. They're pretty hard, too, depending on how much you toast it. <laughs> right. Right. Pretty resilient. Unlike so, a PB&J. Yes. I'm just saying, I'll man. Taco, I'll, I'll go in all in on taco. I'm eating both, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, Travis, um, first question here. How long, uh, how long have you been an artist? Officially, well... Um, I think hobby wise, I think I've been an artist since I was a kid. Um, officially with professional license sets, I would say since 2018, 17. So five, five, six years or so. Okay. All right. And what inspired you to become an artist um, originally? I'm not saying licensed. I mean, you say an artist, like you just, I'm talking about an artist. What, what inspired you to become an artist? Gotcha. Um, art class was my favorite all the way through high school. Um, didn't really Same. care for math. Didn't really like science. Wasn't good at Same. it. I just also stayed in the art class and took as many drawing classes as I could, basically. Me too. Um, yeah. If I had a study hall, I was in the art room doing some other drawing with my art teacher. 
So going out of high, going out of high school, that's all I really think of. Like, what can I do with art? What can I do with my hands, kind of thing. So I went the graphic I was, design. I was the exact same, except for I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you went to graphic design, and now you do that full time. Um, and art on the side or, or sets like this on the side and whatnot. So yeah, it's a love slash hobby. Sure. Sure. Which is good. I mean, um, it's, it's always good to see people follow their passions and in, in some, in some form or way, you know, not just, ah, I can't make any money of that though to the side. I, I hate, I hate when that happens. So, um, what is your favorite character to draw or paint or, you know, art? What's your favorite character? Oh man. Um, I'd say it's probably Darth Maul or Fett. Um, I have Man, been after my own heart. I have been enjoying doing um, more of the Avengers type stuff lately. Um, but anything Star Wars related, I think, is probably my go-to. Uh, I'm just gonna sit down and draw something randomly. Um, probably Darth Maul or Boba Fett. I think. We'll yeah. jump right into the cards here. I know that's what people are here to see. What was your inspiration for doing uh, this set of cards for us for Series 3? Sure. So uh, I would say one, two. I wanted to do something that I hadn't drawn before. Um, Wolverine I had done before. Batman I had drawn before. But the rest, um, looking at them, aside from maybe the, the Ahsoka Trooper, I just wanted to do something different. Right? Not a chance to uh, draw something I hadn't done before. So, um, Doctor Doom, um, The Last Ronin, another comic book that I've not ever read or know much about. Just don't stone me. But uh, I'm not. I haven't read it either. Um, I hear it's really, really popular. But we'll we'll go over these. I mean, we've got Kang the Conqueror here. I'm, I'll be honest. I did not know that for a, until a few minutes ago. I've not seen Loki. Um, but it is a really cool card, and you've done really good with the facial features there. I love the colors. I love the the uh, the glow effect you've got there on the eyes. Um, it's always amazing to see people do that. Um, that was one of my favorites from this the series. Mine too, uh, just for the just the colors alone. And, and I'm a Star Wars guy, but I just I like the I love the colors you've chosen there. Uh, it just goes well. Um, we've got a Wolverine classic suit, uh, good looking Wolverine here. Got an Iron Man. Everybody knows that. And the last Ronin, I'm not going to spoil anything. I do know who it is. It's supposedly, it's like a mystery up until the last, uh, the last book or something. I'm not going to read it. So I, I know who it is though. But we do have a good looking last Ronin here. We have a Snake Eyes. I love Snake Eyes. Um, big GI Joe fan. Um, got a Batman that looks like Christian Bale Batman. The Justice Batman. Um, we have our Ahsoka Trooper from the Clone Wars series, uh, Season 7. Great looking card there. We have uh, Doctor Doom. Uh, we know we'll get to see some more Doctor Doom. He was kind of, his name was, uh, Victor Von Doom was in the uh, the Moon Knight series. I have not seen that either. You can hate me all uh, you want. Uh, we have a really cool Spider-Man 2099. That's a fan favorite and a favorite of the cave. And we've got a Venom, classic Venom here. And these are just some overall really good-looking cards. Um, any Anything you want to say about them, I mean, I don't... I would like to eventually, at some point, branch out. I know I've got color pencils behind me here. Um, but just branch out in my uh, mediums. Right now, I'm just kind of... A, a starting out in pencil kind of guy, and then I'll throw down a base of Copic or Blick Studio marker, alcohol markers, um, and then go over it with colored pencil and touch up with highlights on the on the gel pen. Um, but I love to get into water watercolors and um, even acrylics or acrylic wash or something like that. But just don't have time. Um, but you know, it's always fun to learn new techniques and stuff like that. But these were these were fun. Um, I tried to do a little bit of different uh, background in a couple of them. Most of the times, I stick with kind of a, a straight color for a background and just let the character uh, stand off by itself in the foreground. But 
yeah, it was it was fun. I really enjoyed it. It just gives me a a good chance to kind of go to my my quiet Zen space, if you will, and uh, kind of drown out the the daily noise. Or if I had a rough day, you know, dive sure. into some pile of markers and you start drawing, and it's it's fun. It's relaxing for me. So it's awesome. That's awesome. Other than that, man, um, do you, are you taking on any commissions right now? I've done, uh, I've got a couple on the list um, here and there. Um, just with the work stuff right now and life in general, I've got a couple things going um, Obviously, I'm doing uh, season four right now. If someone wanted to do, uh, you know, commission you, uh, are you are you available for that? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to take on that. Cool. And then what's the best way to reach you? Is it Facebook, Instagram? We'll have all that below just uh, just so people will know. Best way to reach you. Sure. Um, Instagram, Travis Kennison, just my name, no space, no underscore, just all one. Travis Kennison at Instagram. Um, and then Travis Kennison Art on Facebook. Well, there you have it. Um, everyone, if you want to you want a commission from Travis, all you got to do is reach out to his Instagram. He's on Facebook too, and we'll have all that below Um Right below the first link, which you know that's how you win the cards, um, will be all of his information there. You can reach out. Um, just tell him how much you love his artwork and everything else. Other than that, man, we really appreciate you being on with us and being a um, uh, a good a good subscriber and a follower of ours and, and being so helpful with um, always liking stuff and, and commenting and, and keeping up with everything. Um, man, I really Thanks appreciate you being on the on the series with us, man. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. You guys are fun to work with. It's a, a, a great bunch of people, so I, I appreciate the opportunity to for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, other than that, man, we'll be talking to you soon. I know we've got another set of uh, cards coming up that we'll have to do in the interview. And other than that, we uh, look forward to, to talking with you on Facebook and uh, comments and everything else, man. All right. Sounds good. Thanks again. See ya. We hope you enjoyed the interview with Travis. Travis is super cool. Um, glad you got to be a part of this with us and uh, being part of the Gabe's Cave fam. And the reason we chose Travis uh, is because of the Christian Bell Batman Dark Knight trilogy card he did. It's only fitting when... I just did this build. Hopefully you enjoy builds like this. Uh, if you do, please let us know. Hot Toys are super cool. They're some of my favorites, what I collect. Not all, just the sideshow statues here. And uh, other than that, we don't have a lot to say. We've been here for a while, too long, putting batteries in heads and uh, bending legs. Other than that, we want to thank our sponsors again. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com, and Comic Shield. Make sure you check them out if you're looking to transport comics or mail stuff. They're the only way to go in today's times when... Mail carriers are rough with their stuff. Thank you for being here, and uh, we'll see you next time.